Hello everyone, I'm Pascal, Victor Alpha 2 Papa Victor. Merry Christmas to you. This morning Yezu uh, has just released a new firmware update for DDR1X repeater and also we noticed on the WireX uh, website uh, that there is a firmware update uh, available for the HRI 200 which is version 1.01 and from what I saw on the, on the Yahoo group uh, the, uh, the firmware uh, update should uh, be able us to uh, connect the uh, HRI 200 directly to the repeater and have all the, uh, the feature in digital so but it's not clear to me uh, I did download the file and check the PDF and it's not clear if it is compatible or not with the uh, uh, with the HRI 200 or if it's just one step ahead to be in the process to be compatible so because Chris Wilson on the uh, forum were talking about an update about WireX I don't know if it's the software or the HRI 200 firmware update we'll check that out so I will flash the two device this morning and uh, We'll see. Okay, we are the 26th of December. Uh, we couldn't do the demonstration yesterday after we upgraded all the firmware uh, of the device because uh, the WireX software was not available yet. So what you need to do, uh, if you, uh, you didn't do it already, uh, you need to go on the Yezu webpage uh, on the DR1X page and download the latest firmware uh, that is here and follow the instruction that there is in the uh, zip file. You can also uh, download the uh, firmware information from here. Uh, it's actually pretty easy, but there is something new that we never did before. It's actually upgrading the DSP uh, version. Uh, when you do so, you need to put back the switch uh, where it is in normal operation mode and you can do the DSP upgrade just like you do with the FTM400 for those who already have those devices. Also, you need to download the new software version for WarriorX on the HRI200 page. Uh, it shows here, it seems to be the firmware 1.01, but that's not the case. That's actually uh, the WarriorX software, which is version 1.1. Uh, that is, oh, okay, there it goes. It is WarriorX 1.1 already have it so I'm just gonna cancel but uh, you download the software from there and if you go on the WarioX page uh, you will see that the WarioX uh, software uh, is still in the older version here so uh, you need to download it from the HRI 200 page and here also what I did is upgrade the uh, firmware of the HRI 200 uh, to version 1.1 I think it was there before just just to make sure that you have the latest one uh, you can do it I will show you uh, in a few moments how to do it as well uh, that's is pretty pretty easy and you will have all the instruction in the upgrade file when you do uh, install your uh, the, the latest software or unzip oops, sorry I go here when you're gonna unzip all the file uh, you're gonna have uh, the tree directory like this uh, when you upgrade the the software uh, you select the one from your system if it either uh, 32 bits or 64 minus 64 I highly recommend that you reinstall the HRI 200 uh, drivers and you do the setup here and it will actually replace uh, all the file that you have on the for former ver version and keep your config the only bug that we had, where a few of us had, is actually when you do upgrade uh, the software, you cannot enter in the transceiver setting the frequency uh, like you want. Uh, you're going to see why it won't work. So you only have to reboot your system to be able to do so. So that's what we did, and it worked pretty well. And also, when you upgrade the HRI 200, uh, make sure that uh, you uh, do install uh, the, uh, the USB driver here uh, before you do so and verify in your system, uh, your system management of window. Just make sure that you have the right COM port. Uh, same thing for uh, the repeater. So, let's open up the HRI 200. You only need to remove the top screws on both sides to remove the cover. Already removed the back one. Whoops. Opening 
the other one. Like this. There you go. And here's this little switch. There it goes. Here's the procedure to uh, start up the uh, DSP upgrade. Oops. Okay. You touch the screen while turning the repeater on, and then you push it up. DSP come. Something to remember, uh, unless you receive your repeater after the 20th of December uh, this year, uh, the HRI 200 box won't work directly uh, to your repeater. So we need to call uh, Yezu uh, Tech Support to have more information because there's probably a modification we have to do. So we don't know this yet, so probably we're going to know for next week. So what you're going to see the demonstration is actually a link between the repeater and the wire X uh, using FTM 400 that is working. So we have three repeater connected like this for now. So if your repeater is remote and you don't have internet access up there, well, you actually with this firmware with, uh, and, and all the software upgrade are uh, going to be able to do the link between the repeater and your wire X network. Okay, now here's the result. You can see the repeater is at version 1.00M. You can see that I'm having with a QSO with GP uh, Victor Alpha 2 Kilo Kilo, one of my friends. You can see that the repeaters and his call sign going through YRX network. You can see the software air as he come in and as I transmit, you can see that I can uh, get out to YRX network. Here's also the YRX uh, function that is working pretty well uh, with the repeater. Hope you enjoy 73. This is Pascal Victor Alpha 2 Papa Victor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.